Have you ever imagined that the two minutes you spend making espresso coffee would be equivalent to three new Tesla Model Y electric vehicles completed in Giga Shanghai? This speed has helped Tesla rise to number one in terms of speed to produce a car, this time surpassing Ford's previous achievement. The cars we produce here um, are uh, not just the most efficient uh, production, but also the highest quality. So. How is an electric car built in 40 seconds? And how's Tesla rolling out new plans? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. And before we begin, we ask that you please show your support by subscribing if you haven't done so already and ringing that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Tesla delivered a record number of 466,140 vehicles globally in the second quarter of this year. Tesla sold 247,217 EVs in China, contributing to 53% of their global deliveries. And before that, Giga Shanghai produced its 1 million Tesla electric vehicles in August of last year, which is a pretty important milestone and a big record for the entire automotive industry as a whole. But most of all, this is notable considering Tesla's latest record of 40 seconds to complete a new Model Y. This record reflects the sheer scale and efficiency of Tesla's manufacturing process at Giga Shanghai. Uh, we're actually uh, very excited and optimistic that uh, uh, we can set a new Tesla record. How is it possible to produce the new Model Y in 40 seconds? Well, first, Tesla uses a proprietary GigaPress machine to streamline and speed up the car body manufacturing process. High-pressure die-casting technology allows cars to be built with only a few large parts. This machine's molded out of 70 pieces, so it can quickly complete the chassis parts of the car. Since Tesla put that GigaPress in their factories, the giant press will squeeze out the monolithic structures, including the front body chassis and the rear body chassis, to become a complete car chassis instead of a complete chassis using the traditional welding method. The molding part will significantly shorten the production time and cost for each Tesla vehicle. Instead of spending a lot of time and money on manufacturing and joining these two aluminum plates together with this giant machine, this part takes shape after just one casting. It'll also help reduce the unnecessary weight on the chassis, making the Model Y lighter and more energy efficient. In addition to the GigaPress, a series of automatic machines are used to replace workers to shorten production stages and time. Stages of tamping, assembling, welding, or even painting are done by machinery chains without overload or delay. In the Giga Shanghai, production is fast as it equips dozens of robotic arms in parallel at a single station, taking production efficiency to the next level. The factory is constantly improving the assembly process to reduce the idle time of each vehicle at the assembly station and the stages don't have too long a break when moving to the next step. Tesla's invested more than $180 million to expand the capacity of their assembly lines. And then to come to this factory and see how beautifully everything is, pro is produced and the quality and the enthusiasm, it makes me so happy and I can't wait to tell Elon. At the other factory companies, their production lines are separate. Each line doesn't connect with the other one. This creates a challenge in terms of time and labor in the workshops, but at Giga Shanghai, production lines and workshops are stacked and linked to each stage, which further enhances the overall efficiency of the production process. Although the car production process is mostly automated by machines, there's still 20,000 auto workers and engineers in the workshop. They have to supervise and do meticulous work to keep the process detailed and careful and to control the machines effectively. For example, in the upholstery process, Workers have to do it because it requires a high level of strength and a long fit with the foam frame of the chair, especially not to wrinkle. Therefore, the connection between people and machines is the factor that makes Tesla electric cars more valuable and perfect than ever. Simplifying production and reducing the number of parts in an automobile reduces costs, and cost optimization is the key to the company's success. The company says it's continuously come up with improvements, such as cheaper controller and actuator designs. How is making a car in just 40 seconds beneficial for Tesla? Well, Tesla's Giga Shanghai has achieved a localization rate of 95%. This region doesn't just provide vehicles, but also provides EV batteries and bags. It can be said that Tesla's production-related efforts have contributed to Tesla's expansion in the Asian markets. The cars produced in 40 seconds will leave customers amazed and impressed with the machine technologies that the company applies. 
Besides, Giga Shanghai's Tesla output is set to be a million vehicles a year. This serves as the driving force for Tesla and Giga Shanghai to consolidate more modern machinery and advanced technology and even innovate production methods to keep up with the scheduled output. So 40 seconds isn't just the lowest time, it can actually go even lower in the future. Tesla's trying to compete with the production capacity of their biggest rivals. The success of the Shanghai Gigafactory proved that Tesla's production plan was perfect. Rapid vehicle production will help Tesla assert its leading position in the electric vehicle market, surpassing those other competitors like Volkswagen and Ford. As a rule of thumb, established manufacturers have each assembly process measured to the nearest millimeter. Factories like Volkswagen are capable of producing a car at the line every 54.6 seconds, and Ford has also confirmed 49 seconds to produce the F-150. The 40-second production time will meet customer demand with a faster time to market, helping Tesla reach production as planned soon. This brings a lot of revenue to the company by producing more vehicles faster and saving on production costs throughout the production process. In the process of reaping benefits for the company, it's an effort by all Tesla leaders as well as their workers and machines. All have worked with full energy and enthusiasm to accomplish the set goals. This has created a Giga Shanghai with impressive results. So, how impressive are those parameters at Giga Shanghai? Yeah, probably in 10 years, more than a half of uh, new vehicle um, production is electric in the United States. Um, and China's probably going to be ahead of that. Increasing exports of vehicles manufactured at the Giga factory in Shanghai has been effective in easing the strain on Tesla's deliveries in markets outside the continental U.S. Thanks to Giga Shanghai's accelerating production, China's the country with the second largest Tesla sales and the second largest market for Tesla. Tesla's quarter one 2023 deliveries beat expectations as China drives relatively large sales. Tesla sold a total of about 229,000 vehicles in China in the first quarter of this year. In June of 2023, Tesla delivered 78,900 vehicles produced at Giga Shanghai, of which 968 were exported to international markets. Because of the large number of deliveries, it brought Tesla $3.79 billion to the Chinese market, up $928 million compared to the same period last year. And according to media reports, Tesla car manufactured in the Shanghai Gigafactory have been exported to Europe, Australia, Japan, and Singapore, and other places. The company plans to double its production capacity at the Shanghai Gigafactory to meet that growing demand in China and other markets. From the beginning, Giga Shanghai was completely different from the other factories. Although it started in January 2019, the factory was able to roll out the first Model 3 by the end of that year. It could be said that at the time of 2019, Giga Shanghai had to operate at maximum capacity when it had just completed construction of the factory, installed electrical equipment systems, and trained their workers. At the same time, the factory also focused on production to meet the needs of the Chinese market. This proves that the factory is efficient because it combines the construction process and the manufacturing process to develop together and create spectacular success. The truth is that the production process is still very limited in terms of machinery, equipment, and human resources. But in under a year, Tesla was able to create the complete electric car. The record of completing the car in such a short time is something that Austin and Berlin factories can't do. These factories can take up to two years to roll out an electric car from the time it starts operation. How is Tesla planning for a new factory? The success of Giga Shanghai has brought about huge sales figures and sales volume. More importantly, setting that 40-second record and making a new Tesla Model Y. This has greatly enhanced Tesla's reputation. The Tesla EV market in China and Asia is growing. It relies on a lot of effort to upgrade and improve the production system in Giga Shanghai. And the company also focuses on investing a lot in this factory. However, Giga Shanghai is not going to be alone in being considered the only Asian factory come the future, as some of Tesla's recent moves involve opening a factory in India. Uh, well, I'm actually incredibly excited about the future of India. I think uh, India um, has more promise than any large country in the world. Tesla already has a subsidiary called Tesla India Motor and Energy. It's located in the Vimma Nagar area of Pune. The company is over 5,850 square feet, with space available in a first-floor work center. The corporate location is in downtown Pune, where it's considered one of the largest information technology centers in all of India. 
Tesla submitted a proposal for a new factory to the Indian government back in May, and the Indian Commerce Minister is expected to meet with Tesla reps to discuss plans to build the said factory. Discussions on the topic of a potential new factory come after Tesla lobbied the Indian government to reduce import duties on EVs shipped to the country. Discussions about a new factory took place after Tesla lobbied the Indian government to reduce import duties on electric vehicles shipped to the country last year, but they had little success. After negotiations were said to have broken down late last year, just as Elon's meeting with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in June signaled the resumption of negotiations, Musk said he intends to invest significantly in the country. He really cares about India because he's, he's pushing us to make significant investments uh, in India, which uh, it is something that we, that we intend to do, um, and we're just trying to figure out the right timing. In a nutshell, um, it was a, a fantastic meeting with the Prime Minister. Elon and Prime Minister Modi have interacted well on the social networking platform Twitter, now known as X. They also appeared together at the Tesla factory. This close relationship confirms a big plan for Tesla in India. Tesla has factories to cater to the huge electric vehicle market. Giga Shanghai will manufacture and supply electric vehicles mainly for the Asian market. In Europe, Giga Berlin has also successfully fulfilled the role and mission of the factory when the Tesla Model Y was mass produced to supply that market. Above all, factories in Fremont, Texas, New York, Nevada, and soon Mexico will be priority factories serving the American market. Tesla takes this market very seriously and always prioritizes it as first. But the expansion of a factory in India may be because Tesla realizes the benefits the company can reap if it invests in this country. Why is India a potential country target for Tesla? There's no question about Tesla's potential if the company grows and builds in this country. India is a country that is promoting domestic electric vehicle markets with many breakthroughs. This is the fourth largest market in the world with 3.9 million, and it's only behind the US, China, and Japan. Right now, India is the most populous country in the world, so the demand for the electric vehicle is going to be high. The introduction of Tesla into India will help increase car sales as well as expand Tesla's scale significantly. The Indian government prioritizes the Made in India policy, so production in India will be very convenient and can supply a large number of EVs to the world market without facing many related problems with the import policy like they have in China. India attaches great importance to clean mobility and sustainability when it comes to encouraging policies to promote electric vehicles and develop electric vehicle infrastructure. If Tesla decides to set up its full-fledged operations from producing electric vehicles to developing electric vehicle infrastructure, it could benefit from the policies put in place by the Indian government. Although Musk has failed to negotiate with Indian government officials about the import, sale, and maintenance of Tesla's EVs in the Indian market, the relationship has been strained a lot, and it seems Musk has withdrawn from investment plans related to India. But it seems that Musk realized the potential value of Tesla here, so he came back to the table once more. The truth is that after that first failed negotiation, Musk was thinking about the company more than his personal feelings. Growing in India isn't what he likes, but it's what Tesla needs. Tesla's always wanted to assert the company's position in the global electric vehicle market. Scaling up and opening more factories is one of the stages of the journey to becoming the world's number one electric vehicle manufacturer. If over at Giga Shanghai, the company's achieved a leading record in vehicle production speed for 40 seconds, then there is a possibility that when the company successfully builds that factor in India, it'll continue to break other records as an export parameter. India is a potential country where Tesla can demonstrate the company's reputation and credibility. In the coming days, weeks, months, and years, the electric vehicle company promises to reap many great achievements and leave its competitors in the dust. So, how do you feel about that 40-second production time for the Tesla Model Y in Shanghai? And how do you rate the potential of Tesla in India? We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please smash that like button and join our Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until next time, stay safe and have fun.